Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do exercises one and two, starting on page 94 in your module four book. Okay, so you need to make sure you are there. This is where we are beginning and going to make our way through a couple of these exercises. Okay, these are broken down step by step really nicely for you. So they tell you essentially how we come up with our proportional relationship and how we come up with our constant rate. In this case, they call it the constant speed. Constant speed is the same thing as your unit rate, it's the same thing as your slope, it's the same thing as your constant proportionality. And we find it the exact same way. They're using speed, just like they did last year, we had talked about how speed was distance over time, and they're using speed again in the exact same way to reintroduce those proportional relationships here in the eighth grade. Okay, so we're going to set up our proportion, we're gonna set up our fraction, set up our ratio the same way that we did with example one here on the uh, first page on page 93 and much the same way that we started kind of this unit last year. So we're gonna take a look at question number one in the exercise. It says Wesley walks at a constant speed to his house from his house to school 1.5 miles away. It took him 25 minutes to get to school. So as a fraction, they essentially just wanna figure out what is the constant speed. And so remember, speed, we said was distance divided by time. And so we're going to use that same formula, we're going to use that same basis to create our proportion, and then with that proportion, answer some questions related to this problem in Wesley walking to school. Okay, so his distance is 1.5, and his time it took him to get there was 25 minutes okay I'm going to make sure to include your your units as you're doing this just so that way you're clear on what number means what okay 1.5 miles over 25 minutes that's it for number one that fraction represents his constant speed 1.5 divided by 25 okay so you want to know how many miles he's walked after 15 minutes so y is going to be represent the distance he traveled after 15 minutes at constant speed. And so what they want you to do is give a fraction with the constant speed in terms of y. Okay. So what we don't know is how far he's gone. That's going to be our y. We want to figure out how how far that is with a distance uh, or with a time amount of 15 minutes. So we want to find y divided essentially by 15 is going to be equal to C. Again, looking to find what our constant speed is. So, we're going to take both of these two fractions, set them equal to each other, create an equation, and then find our proportion to figure out what our distance is after 15 minutes. So we're going to take y over 15. We're going to set that equal to 1.5 over 25. Okay, because again, this is a proportional relationship. So at each step of our journey, the proportion should be the same. Let me pull up my calculator really quick. And then, so that way, we're ready to go to do this calculation. Okay, so I have 15 times 1.5. And I'm going to solve this the exact same way. I'm looking at Miss Carpenter and Mrs. Kidd. I'm going to solve this the exact same way that we did with kind of our um, solving equations here in lesson 8 where we did our cross multiplication. So we're going to cross multiply and we're going to get 25y and then we're going to have 15 times 1.5 which is 22.5. So that is our equation. So we need to then solve for y. So divide both sides by 25. So that gives us y equals, and then we have 22.5 divided by 25, which is 0 0.9. So y is equal to 0 0.9, which means 0 0.9 miles is the distance that he's traveled after 15 minutes. Okay. So they would use that as 15 minutes as a kind of a guide to figure out what your co what your constant of proportionality is going to be so that way you can create an equation to represent the whole situation very similar to what we did last year so that's what they want you to do with part d is essentially to create an equation in terms of y and x 
as to to figure out how many miles have been traveled after X amount of minutes. So, in order to do that, we would take Y is equal to, and then in terms of Y and X, it's going to be 0. Point, it's not going to be 0. 0.9, my bad. In order to figure that out, you have to do 1.5 divided by, no, not times 25, divided by 25, and you get 0. 0.06, okay? So, we take our original fraction up here, okay, and we just divide that. So, how we got 0 0.06 was doing 1.5 divided by 25. 0 0.06, okay, or 6 hundredths, or you can write that as 53 or 3 fiftieths, <clears throat> either way, this is going to be our constant of proportionality. This is our distance after one minute. Okay, so he walks 0 0.06 miles after one minute. Okay, and the way we can test that is just plug, plug one in for x. Okay, so that's going to be y is equal to 0 0.06 times 1, which is 0 0.06. So that means y equals 0 0.06 miles have been traveled in one minute. And so in 15 minutes, travels 0 0.9 minutes, and then this is our equation to show his whole speed, his whole constant velocity as he makes his way from home to school.